Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the Gems of War weapon of the Doomed Scythe, one of the six uh, pure color Doom Skull creating weapons. Of them, this one currently seems to be one of the better one, which is why I figured I cover a video going over some general teams and applicable uses. This thing is pretty noteworthy in that it converts all yellows to doom skulls, making it a possible divine counter as well as a yellow day counter. It also has a bone storm into the fact that it already creates uh, doom skulls, which is a pretty good synergy and having both a skull related ability into a skull related storm. And on top of that, since it is going to be a bit of a divine counter, it does have the ability to drain two mana from all purples, which is pretty relevant because it can get rid of things like uh, Moon Rabbit and Divine Ishbala and things like that. Just to make sure they do not get their uh, cast off either from Empowered or just from them having their mana. And there are plenty of decent divines out there that end up utilizing the color of uh, purple. So overall, this thing is going to be pretty decent compared to all the colors we have uh, available currently, which is all of them except for uh, yellow at this point. Uh, you can get it either by buying into tier four on the purple uh, Tower of Doom this week, or you can get it within the Soul Forge if you don't want to buy it with gems. You can simply go into Soul Forge underneath weapons, and uh, it's not weapons. Uh, and underneath weapons, it should be all the way at the bottom there. And it's uh, relatively cheap to do it that way too if you're not necessarily getting the it off of the uh, board. But do keep in mind if you don't happen to get it off of the actual event that you might not necessarily have enough of the scrolls to actually get it to max. And it does gain benefits from getting it to max. So if we go over to our weapon and go bring up the uh, Doom Cypher real quick, you can go see, of course, it, one of its first things is, uh, like all the other ones, it does have a increased damage based on tempering level. Tempering level is basically whatever that number is there. You add that to its damage, so that's 35 if you have it all the way uh, maxed out. And it still gets all the yellow converts, ends up getting a uh, three mana uh, for each uh, purple enemy. And while very rare, uh, if the enemy ends up having a doom, it'll also end up creating five additional dooms on top of what it already creates. One of its more relevant factors are all of the secondary effects that it has, though. Um, my main ones being that it steals two mana from the first enemy, so you'll always be able to get some of the mana drain down. You have a two mana drain to absolutely all purples, so if you're using this for something like a purple counter, you can end up using it for that as well. And it ends up creating a bone storm, which is probably its absolute most relevant aspect. And this will allow you to be able to cover both uh, skull creation and extra coming onto the board simply with one single cast. So it has a lot going for it. I just figured I'd do a couple teams real quick in PvP just to show it off. Looks like we're up against a bit of a dragon one. We'll start all the way from the bottom and work our way up. First off, we're going to be going with a uh, whip spinner version of this team. We're basically going to be using humility in order to feed ourselves a bunch of yellow into whatever other secondary color we might need at any given time. And then kind of just destroy everything from there by using the triple damage that we have off of uh, whip spinner. And the second we cast this, we will get a bone storm. That we'll be able to utilize unfortunately this start right here does not seem to really give us anything so let's take a red for now you do not have any alignment but now we do so we can simply just go for that get triple every single time get the uh, decent aoe in there and see if we can get a few more pokes looks like we might be able to and probably not so let's take that down it look like we'll be able to get another another cascade we can simply just take that skull uh, it'll drop down and then one more will simply kill it out off the constant triple damage from our uh, web spinner and as you can see, that easily takes that out, and uh, the Skull Storm ended up assisting us. And we can also get a uh, Doom Storm once we finally start getting kills off of the uh, Blood Hammer itself. So let's go now into the uh, next one here. Apparently another Dragon team. Not sure what's up with Dragons all of a sudden. Apparently we're just finding them. And this is a bit more of a double converting team, utilizing things that have the uh, convert some to Skulls while doing something else to a Mana, while also using a bunch of Explosions off of the Possessed King. And for this, we'll mainly just want to get one of them to full mana and then hopefully have alignment that will chain into everything else that we have on our team. So let's take a red there for now. Uh, looks like at this point, I might as well just go get Sakima all the way to full, which uh, she does. She has blue to skull as well as uh, brown to yellow, which I don't believe. Oh, no, no, we do. Right there on brown to yellow. Uh, that should be able to get Divine Ishbala, which should pretty much just get us to full at that point. We'll just go through a poke for there. One little skull will just top it out. Uh, having that to full mana right now would be perfect alignment right there. Unfortunately, uh, we are a little bit short. But uh, let me go try for Sky Yellow or Skull there. I'm actually going to try for all the mana. We did not get the Surge, nor did we get the alignment there. So I'm just going to have to go for that and hope we have alignment after that. And we definitely do, and that is match. So we'll take that, get a good AoE in there. 
Uh, looks like we just have all the alignment we need. Simply just get those in the skulls, and we'll have all the damage off of... Uh, do we even need that convert? Yeah, we might as well. Why not? Get our head in there, and it is super dead. And that just gets all of our mana back, and we can go repeat the cycle. Then another convert, and just keep it going down from there. But yeah, there's a lot of potential for this weapon. Uh, not sure if any of these will ever become meta, as at this current moment in time, these do seem kind of average for the most part. But um, there could potentially be something that uses a good frontline tank that would end up using this into the future, or even just simply as a uh, purple or yellow counter of sorts. But uh, overall, I would definitely say one of the uh, better Doom weapons out there. Right here, we're kind of going with a somewhat similar premise of the previous, just with a little bit more mana generation compared to before, where we're kind of just using this double converter into a bunch of skull spam, doing a relatively overall same kind of premise of team. So we do that just to get our skull storm in place so we can start getting a lot more kills than we normally would be able to by getting a lot more skulls. We didn't keep simply spam with a bunch of skulls. And yeah, it feels nice being able to have both skull spam while simultaneously... Uh, uh, getting a bone storm, <laughs> there's already a few other things that can do that like wild queen and uh, Similar options, but as far as like one weapon that can do it like a, any hero weapon I believe this is the only hero weapon that currently has both skull creation while also simultaneously having a bone storm So uh, very very solid and even if it isn't the only one It's definitely the most viable of them from what I can tell so yeah, highly highly advised to get that weapon max Do keep in mind it might take two events if this is your pur first purple event you might want to wait until the next purple event eventually uh, comes around. It is rather expensive to, do, to max that weapon out in only one event. By somewhat expensive, I mean, like, it's, I think it's somewhere around 3,000 uh, gems or something like that. So you don't want to do that. You just mainly want to do it over the course of two events, where you do both of them to around tier 4 or so. Make sure to get up to 25, do every single one to dooms, and just get all the scrolls that way. Uh, but yeah, you do keep gaining scrolls up to 25. If you guys ever wonder why I always do it up to 25 or what, I should say up to 26, because the 25th one also gives it. It's because those colored scrolls that normally fall onto every single battle stop falling at uh, floor 26. So you basically want to do all the way to 25 to be able to maximize those scrolls uh, every single time that there's a Doom event week. And then you can use those scrolls to upgrade those weapons, which of course the Doom scroll creating ones in every single instance, at least currently being the better options for all of those. Anyways, guys, that'll wrap it up for this video. If you still have any other questions about Tower of Doom as well as the weapon, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And have a wonderful weekend. Goodbye, everyone.